why do you mind? I mean, it's... I was just told to do it. Okay, well, I, I have every right to record this. Uh, this is Jim Acosta. I am in front of the White House, uh, Secret Service officer. After a contentious back and forth between CNN's Jim Acosta and Donald Trump this morning, Trump took some characteristically petty revenge. When Acosta tried to enter the White House this evening, only hours after the exchange, he was stopped by the Secret Service, and this is what he encountered. The most telling moment comes from the CNN reporter at the very end. Why do you mind? I mean, it's... I was just told to do it. Okay, well, I, I have every right to record this. Uh, this is Jim Acosta. I am in front of the White House. Uh, Secret Service officer is asking for my hard pass. Uh, obviously, no hard feelings to the officer, uh, but I am now giving my hard pass to the Secret Service. Um, so, do you want to take it off the, the lanyard there? Or? So There. Actually, yeah, here. If you could hold that, I don't want to yeah. lose any of that. Sure, sure. It's been here for a while, huh? Well, yeah, I've been working at the White House for five years, uh, covering two administrations. So, yeah, it's been in that thing for a while. This back here for you. All right. Thank you for your service, officer. Notwithstanding the fact that Jim Acosta has the class to thank the Secret Service officer for his service, he should never have to experience this type of suppression of the free press in the United States. According to the White House, Acosta lost his permanent press credentials because he allegedly assaulted a White House intern. Let's take a look at that moment and you can judge for yourself. If I may ask Peter, one other question, ahead. are you worried? That's enough. That's Mr. enough. Mr. President, I, well, that's I was enough. Ask one of the, the other folks. That's had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm, Mr. Excuse President, me. that's enough. Mr. President, I had one other Peter, question, if go. I may ask, on, on the Russia investigation. So, to be clear, holding onto a microphone is assault, but this is okay. But Greg is smart. And by the way, never wrestle him. You understand that? Never. Any guy that can do a body slam, he's my kind of... I shouldn't say this because there's nothing to be embarrassed about. So I was in Rome with a lot of the leaders from other countries talking about all sorts of things. And I heard about it. And we endorsed Greg very early. But I had heard that he body slammed a reporter. And he was way up. And he was way up. And I said, oh, this was like the day of the election or just before. And I said, oh, this is terrible. He's going to lose the election. Then I said, well, wait a minute. I know Montana pretty well. I think it might help him. And it did. And yes, he's speaking about Montana lawmaker Greg Gianforte, who body slammed a reporter on the campaign trail. Honestly, it, it must be freeing to have this kind of logic rooted in... Um, Nothing. Trump may have thought he could silence Acosta and CNN, and it might be working with his dwindling fan base who only watches Fox News anyway, but his constant assault against the media is only empowering those who stand for truth and facts, and no amount of desperate, authoritarian-style moves are ever going to change that in America.